So this guy was saying, and he stuff. And you're supposed to say five interesting things about yourself. About yourself. So here are five interesting things about yourself. Meaning me. You see, I was born on this island, and it's called Guam, and it's a long way away from probably wherever you are. It's in the West Pacific Ocean, and it's really small. How did I get there? Well, my parents were evacuated from Bangladesh during a military coup, and they got flown over to Guam. Stuff ensued, and I was born. I then made my way over to Florida, Michigan, Minnesota, Korea, Japan, Thailand, and Australia. We rode by plane, and some of those trips can be pretty long. The earth is a big place, and you can be up in the air for 26 hours at a time. I was on a lot of planes, including once the C-130 Hercules cargo transport aircraft for the Air Force. I rode as passenger in the cargo bay of the airplane. I believe it was shipping chemical weapons and blankets, but no matter. There wasn't much thermal or acoustic insulation, so it was kind of cold and too loud, so loud that you couldn't hear the person talking next to you. After all that traveling, I appeared in Guam once again to go to school. It was Guam High School, and it was a DOD school. Seemed like most of the school's people were in ROTC. Guam High School has a lot of history behind it. Before Guam High School occupied the current facility, it was headquarters of Comnav Mar. Well, actually, it's Meteorology and Oceanography Center. And the Typhoon Warning Center. It also has foot-thick blast doors. President Lyndon Johnson met with the Southern Vietnamese to discuss battle strategies during the Vietnam War. It also has foot-thick blast doors throughout the campus, and school folklore said the second basement to be a war room. I uploaded an article from the school newspaper discussing Guam High School's history up to the site. It has foot-thick blast doors. After Guam High School, I took a few classes at Northwestern University for high school credit. I had professors Jeff Morrow and Shadforth. Professor Morrow taught a speech-making class, and we read some nice philosophy and uh, other articles in his class. It was pretty fun. I made a good speech about how to mailed an atomic bomb. I think that was the only one where people came out saying, Whoa, that was a cool speech. You know, kinda. It was, it was supposed to be an informative speech that was about five minutes long, I think. So I broke down thermonuclear weapon design into six minutes. Stuff ensued, and then I ended up being in the University of Nebraska's high school program. It's called the Independent Study High School, and it basically means homeschool. I finished up high school in three years on the internet. I graduated high school at the age of 15, and then ended up going to quite a selective college, New College of Florida. There were people there that turned down Harvard, Stanford, and Yale. I decided I didn't like full-time college. So I decided to go to part-time college at Seminole Community College. You can find me there getting a degree in network security and a and network system. You can find me there getting a degree in network administration and computer security. Also around the world, I've experienced many types of weather firsthand. In June 2004, a tropical storm Ting Ting dropped 16 inches of rain down per day. Super Typhoon Omar had wind speeds of 150 miles per hour. In Michigan, we had a blizzard. I've experienced an 8.0 earthquake and a volcanic eruption. I also invented chewing gum and those little things on the ends of your shoelaces.